What up, Super Players? It's the homie C Rod, and today I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of all the new blue cards that are coming out in that new Series 4 Colossal Warfare. And uh, let's get straight to it. I don't want to waste you guys' time anymore. Let's give a quick rundown of what these things do and see what the hype train is all about. So, Trunks. We got the leader little kid Trunks, right? He's a little boy. And uh, basic effect, when you attack, you draw one card. When you attack the leader, right? Awaken on tab 2. Nothing special there. But... Let's see what his Awaken side does. So his Awaken side, when this card attacks, you draw one, same thing. But at the end of your turn, if all your energy is blue, so I'm guessing you're going to want to make a mono blue deck with this, choose up to one of your blue battle cards with an energy cost of three or more, and up to one of your energies, and then check this out. Then you switch them back to active mode. That's pretty darn good. You get one energy and one battle card back to active mode, which is in turn very 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 useful and then we got hero dead guard sorry if i said that wrong but this guy is amazing because he's kind of like that golden freezer when this card attacks the leader you may choose one battle card from your hand and place it in the drop area all right so it's good for overround because you're throwing things in the drop and then if you do so you draw two cards so it's it works very very well uh, untap two of your energies, awaken, and then this is where this leader gets kind of pretty darn interesting. So, awaken, perfection, hero, degron. Hero, degron, I think I said it right. When this card attacks, draw one card like always, and this is the kick. If you have four or more energy, your opponent chooses one card from their hand and places it in the top of their deck. So, in turn, if you play this deck very, very good, your opponent's going to be drawing the same card over and over again. And that alone is pretty darn annoying. I would hate to play someone that plays that at a prestige level. Because then I'm going to be drawing the same thing over and over again. Then we got Dragon Fist, Super Saiyan 3, Dope, Bam Bam right there. Barrier, Double Strike. When this card attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's battle guard, ignoring the barrier, and return it to the owner's hand. Then choose up to two of your energies and switch them to active mode. So, on top of you being able to bounce back a barrier, like, I don't know, maybe that King Vegeta, Great Ape, you also untap two of your energy, so this guy turns to a 4-drop. So, I see this guy being played with that Super Saiyan 3 leader more, uh, more than any other leader. And then, next, we got Sneak Attack Son Goku. When you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and return it to the owner's hand. So that's pretty darn good too. Same thing as Super Saiyan 3. And then City, P Gra City Patrol Great Saiyan Man. So this card has Barrier, Blocker, and if you happen to have a Great Saiyan Man number 2, you reduce the cost of this card by 2, so it's a 1 cost. Alright, it's nothing that special, but it is 15k power. We got some Gohan, you know, when he was at college with Videl, you know, doing his thing. Uh, whatever, it's just a vanilla. Quick Dodge Sun Goten. He's a blocker. A better Goten option if you do the Mighty Mask. You now you got a better Goten instead of picking that one uh, vanilla Goten. Then we got Sneak Attack Vegeta. Barrier. When this card attacks the leader, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and places it in the top of their deck. Pretty darn good. Combine this with the leader, uh, Hero Dragon. <laughs> Sorry if I said the name wrong. You attack. Put one card back, attack with Vegeta, put one card back. Damn, that this combination is, is is brutal. Then Oath Powered Trunks. Permanent, if you have Tapion in the drop or warp. So like I said, it's going to be revolving around with Overrealm. Um, and uh, this guy gains Double Strike and Barrier. And he's 20k, and he goes back to active mode at the end of your turn. So he's a 20k Double Striker Barrier that's going to continuously be attacking. Very, very good. And then we got Heroic Encounter Trunks. What is this guy? Well, when this card attacks, choose up to one Tapion from your deck and add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. So this guy attacks, you get one Tapion. If he doesn't die, you attack again, get another Tapion. Very, very useful to get the Tapion engine running. We got Raging Energy Blast Gotenks. New Gotenks card. It's a critical. Place this card in the drop area with his activate main ability. Then you choose one Goten or Trunks Youth from your deck and add it to your hand. So he's like Mighty Mask but bigger with Critical. Then choose two of your energies and switch into Active Mode. So in turn, he's a two drop and you get to search out. He's like a bigger Mighty Mask. And then we got City Patrol Great Saiyan Man 2. This is the one you're going to want to combine with Great Saiyan Man the first one. And when you play this card, you choose one of the Great Saiyan Mans and add it to your hand. So the this little engine is, is whatever. You get a blocker for one energy. And then we got 
the big behemoth, impenetrable defense hero Dre Degron uh, barrier. And when your opponent attacks with this card, if your leader is a phantom demon, you may send this card and one card in your hand to the warp, so they leave. And if you do so, you negate the attack, then play this card from your warp uh, on the field. So what this guy does is he's a infinite negate depending on how many cards you have in your hand and how many cards you're willing to send to the warp can be very useful depending on what cards you want in the warp then we got hero dragon the wanderer so when this card attacks place the top three cards from the top of your deck in the drop area like i said very very useful for the over round and activate main ability for three that you choose and send both this card from your battle area and the tapion in your drop a drop area to the warp and then you choose one of those impenetrable defense hero Degron, so this big old dude, and you get to play him from your deck. I mean, uh, you get to play him from the drop area or warp. So that's pretty darn good. That's this is the easy way to play the hero Degron, uh, impenetrable defense guy. Then we got Oath Power Tapion. Now we're getting our Tapions, which are searchable by that little kid Trunks. When you play this card, you may choose up to two of your life and add them to your hand. So this is the key awakening card right here. This is where you're going to want to play if you're playing the Tapion engine to awaken yourself. This is pretty what you're going to want to search with the trunks. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of 5 or less and place it on the top of the owner's deck. So it's looking like you're going to be putting a lot of things on top of your opponent's deck, which in turn can pretty much screw your opponent over because you're going to be drawing a bunch of the same stuff and they could get stuck if you do it in the right way. Hidden Darkness Tapion, another Tapion option to search out with that Trunks when this card attacks if, uh, or combo. Uh, if your leader card is blue, place the top three cards from the top of your deck in the drop area. Very useful for overround cards. So it's looking like you're going to want to overround. And uh, Hidden Darkness M Monotia, I guess. When this card is placed in the drop area, from your hand, if your leader is a hidden phantom, so you're going to want to use it with that one hero Degron leader, you may choose up to one hero Degron, the wanderer, from your deck and add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. So this card in turn is a one turn play, gets you any phantom demon uh, uh, hero Degron card that you need. And uh, he, Hayo Emissary of Flame, this is our super combo, it's a very darn interesting one. Because when you combo with this card, if your leader is a Phantom Demon, which you're going to want to use it with a Phantom Demon, if your life is at 4 or less, you may place one card from your hand in the drop area. If you do so, draw two cards and take a boost power. So, in turn, this card can literally save your life. Just drop one random card you don't need, draw two cards, and now you got a little buff to... So, could in turn save your life. And then we got Phantom Flame Cannon, activate main, if your leader is Hero Degron, it gains 10k power for the duration of the turn, then choose up to one card in your opponent's hand, and place it in the top of the deck. So, another more of a uh, placing top of the deck card. So, I'm telling you, this deck is looking very darn good. And then we got Ectoplasm, counter play, so when your opponent plays something, you counter it, choose up to one Hero Degron in your battle area, send it to the warp, and at the start of your next main, play that card from your warp interesting so i guess you get to warp one of your cards and uh that's what it does it protects one of your cards just in case it was about to die and then last but not least the legendary flute you know the magic flute what does this thing do if your leader is blue choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of three or less and return it to the owner's hand and if your card no if that card was your own battle card draw one card so, uh, you could technically return one card to the hand and draw one card with this. And, uh, it's pretty darn good. And that's gonna be it. Let me know what combos spur up in your mind. Will you guys like this type of deck? I'm digging this deck. This is one of the new decks that I really, really want to try out. And, uh, I can't wait for those SRs to come out. So, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button for future DBS deck profiles, DBS content, DBS anything. And, like we always say... Y'all stay super...